Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hey, Miguel, how you doing? Hello, Miguel, how are you? Miguel, can you hear me? We will now listen to the model verbs would and will. As always, try to practice the conversation with a friend. Listen and practice. May I take your order? Yes, I'd like the lamb kebabs. All right. And would you like a salad? Yes, I'll have a mixed green salad. Okay. What kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I'd like a large iced tea, please. And would you like a salad? All right, welcome back, guys. Welcome back. How are you today? How do you feel today? Excellent, teacher. Good evening. Hey, good evening. How are you today? Are you ready? That's great. Are you today ready? That's great, teacher. Hey, nah, nice, nice. Uh, today was kind of crazy. <laughs> there was traffic like out of control in Salvador del Mundo. Did anybody go to Salvador del Mundo today? Yes, very full. Eh, too much, too much. I was like, wow. Who are all these people? There was a lot of people in Salvador del Mundo today because they had a special activity for El Dia de la Mujer. Uh, congratulations to all the women in the class. Congratulations for your, Thank you, teacher. For your special Thank day. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome. Did anybody receive flowers or candies or something like that? Nothing. Huh? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> oh, that is sad. Not even. Well, I went to the park in the morning. I normally go running in the morning and near my house. There is Parque Satellite, and they have aerobics class. So they decorated the park with uh, purple balloons, uh, purple ribbons, and they were giving sandwiches and coffee for free. So I was like, hey, can I get a, a, a sandwich? No, it's only for the women. <laughs> I said, oh, okay. But it looked it looked like a nice event. There was a lot of people uh, taking pictures and uh, you know selfies and things like that. So I think it's it's important to appreciate women, uh, especially nowadays, you know, when you hear so many negative things. Uh, that happen uh, to women. So, you know, I think it's important that we give at least one day to say thank you, women, and congratulations. All right, guys, let's go ahead and uh, get started. We're going to get started. Uh, who can tell me what 
information do you remember about the previous class? Who can about tell me? Mm -hmm. neither either how to res respond yeah yeah that's correct uh, for example so do i so can i mm -hmm. me neither no neither do i mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, i cannot either and mm -hmm. in that okay good job we're gonna go ahead and move forward and we're gonna be looking at a conversation ordering food do you like food do you like food i yes. like it <laughs> what yeah, kind I of food all right what kind of food do you like pupusas pupusas what else do you like seafood huh mexican food Mexican food, Mexican food. Pizza. Eh? Tamales, teacher. Tamales, tamales, chicken tamales. I like chicken tamales. What kind of tamales do you like? With cheese. Cheese tamales. Okay, all right. Chicken tamales. Uh huh. Beans tamales. Chicken and beans tamales. All right. All right. Uh, I went to uh, the Spensa de Don Juan and they had tamales that were like this big for like one dollar, one tamal. I was like, how many people <laughs> eat this tamal? <laughs> It was enormous, you know, because by the Super Selectos, they give you four uh, normal tamales uh, for one dollar. But in the Spensa de Don Juan, they have the big, the, the large tamales. I was like, that's too much. That's too much. I have to take care of the diet. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I love to eat. Uh, what else do you remember from yesterday's class? About the preposition. That is correct. About the to preposition, right? I like to cook. I love to dance. Okay. So today I would like for us to go ahead and take a look at the conversation referring to ordering food. Uh, I'm going to play the audio and I would like for you guys to please listen and take a look at the vocabulary so that I can go ahead and explain it to you. Hello everyone, I want you to pay attention to the following conversation. Can we everybody will now hear? listen to the model verbs can everybody hear? and will. As can everybody teacher, hear? Try to practice yes. the conversation with a friend. Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Okay. Listen and practice. Listen and practice. May I take your order? Yes, I'd like the lamb kebabs. All right. Hey, do you know what is a lamb kebab? Do you know what is a lamb kebab? No, teacher. No. Ostras, teacher. No. Ah, okay, okay. No. Lamb, lamb is like uh <laughs> i don't know if you remember this little lamb of my i know it's this little lamb of my. um i don't know if you remember uh, the white lamb i don't know if you're familiar with the story of uh i think it was i don't know if it was moses or abraham in the bible uh, when God told him that he had to sacrifice his son. Cabra o cabri, cabri, algo así, ¿no? uh -huh. Yeah, something like that. And uh, and then God, when when Abraham was going to Una kill. Oveja. Huh? Una oveja era. Una oveja, that's right, that's right. And when he was going to kill the son. Uh, suddenly 
uh, God said uh, Abraham or Moses, or I can't remember, uh, stop. Abraham. Abraham, okay, he said stop. And then Abraham looked and there was a lamb. Uh, miraculous there. Lamb is cordero. That is correct. It's a white uh, four-legged animal, similar to the sheep. Uh -huh. All right, let's continue. Uh, do you know what is kebab? Kebab? Do you know what is kebab? Can anybody tell me what is a kebab? Pinchos. Pinchos. You have lamb kebab, fruit kebab, right? Pinchos de fruta. You have the shrimp kebab, pinchos de camarón. You have the meat kebab, pinchos de carne. Huh? Okay, so basically it's pinchos. Right, when you have a, a stick and then you put the food on the stick. Questions, questions? Questions, questions? Okay. Right, and would you like a salad? Yes, I'll have a mixed green salad. Okay. What is mixed? Mixed. <laughs> Uh, es una combinación. That is correct. That is correct, right? You mix uh, maybe tomatoes, lettuce, uh, onion, uh, cucumber, uh, pickles. Do you know what are pickles? Pickles? Pepinillos. Pepinillos. Correct. Correct. Very good. What kind of dressing would you like? Uh, what is dressing? What is dressing? Aderezo. Aderezo. Yeah. No, postre, we say dessert. Dessert. Repeat, dessert. 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 All right. There's dessert. That's postre. Dessert. Uh, so dressing is aderezo, dressing, right? You have, for example, dressing. My, my personal favorite dressing is ranch, right? Ranch dressing, or you have barbecue dressing. How do you say curtido y salsa? for the pupusa. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, pupusa mm -hmm. dressing, correct. Pupusa mm -hmm. dressing, excellent. We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I'd like a large iced tea, please. All right. Let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. Me, teacher. Miguel Me, Portillo teacher. and Cesar. Miguel Portillo is gonna be the waiter. Cesar is gonna be the customer. Okay. Uh, may I take your order? Yes, I like I like the lamb cube. Kebab. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. All right. And would you would you like a uh, salad? Yes, I I have I mix a green salad. Okay. What kind Mi of dressing would you like? Do we say mix it or do we say mixed? Mixed. Mix. Mix green salad. Very good. Okay, okay. teacher. Okay, why, why, what kind of, of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? 
Yes, I'd like a large iced tea, please. A uh, tea or tea? Tea. 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 Iced tea, tea mm -hmm. please. Eh, normalmente, cuando ve dos vocales, por ejemplo, aquí, T, E, A, eh, we only pronounce one vowel. O, por ejemplo, aquí, please, no decimos please. We say please. T, right? Del primer vocal es normalmente el que se pronuncia. Eh, aquí vemos el O, U juntos, right? Ahí sería would, would. Solo se pronuncia un sonido. All right. Thank you, guys. Excellent. Uh, let me have David and Lisbeth. David is the waiter. Lisbeth is the customer. Okay. Um, may I take your order? Yes, I like the lamb kebabs. Kebab. 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 Se pronuncia como que si es K-A-B-A. Kebab. Kebab. All right. And would you like a salad? Yes, I will have mixers, green salad. Uh, do we say mixed or do we say mixed? Mixed. Mixed. Okay. Mm. In este caso, guys, M I X, mix. Uh, fix. Uh, walk. Talk. All right. So, si el verbo eh, termina en a. Uh, in, uh, Como en este caso, ED, 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 ED. And it's not voiced, right? Pones tus dedos de aquí, en tu Adam's apple, y tú dices, mix, mix, no vibration. Fix, fix, no vibration. Walk, walk, no vibration. Talk. Talk, no vibration. So the pronunciation for the simple past is fixed, fixed, walked, talked. But if you have a word that finishes in the vibration, if for example, if I say to you, uh, burn, Burn, uh, learn, uh, earn. All right, earn. And you put your two fingers here in your Adam's apple and you say burn, you have a vibration. So there the pronunciation for the simple past is da. Burned, burned, put a D. Here, learn, learned, learned. ED, we pronounce it with a D. Earn, earn. For the simple past, we have earned, earned. Questions? Questions, questions? No, no, no. thanks. So, if the word is finishes with the vibration, the pronunciation for the simple past is d, d, burned, learned, earned. However, if it's not vibrated, then the pronunciation is mixed, fixed, walked, talked. Now, if the verb finishes in the letter T. For example, want, want. It finishes in the letter T. So the pronunciation for the simple past is going to be wanted, wanted. Or if the verb finishes in the letter D for the simple past, we say landed, 
wanted, landed. All right, everybody listen and repeat. Mixed. 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 Fixed. Fixed. Walked. 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 Talked. 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 Burned. 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 Learned. 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 Earned. Earned. Wanted. 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 Landed. Landed. All right. Any questions? No. No teacher. All right. Let's continue. Continue the practice. Okay. What kind of dressing do you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I like a large iced tea, please. Tea, tea or tea? Tea. <laughs> tea, tea. All right, Sorry. good. Tea, okay, good. All right, uh, at this moment, uh, what we are going to do is did everybody, nobody wrote here the conversation. So right now, what I want you to do, I want you to imagine that you are in a restaurant, whatever restaurant, Pollo Campero, Pizza Hut, Burger King, McDonald's, Papa John's, whatever, whatever restaurant you prefer. And I want you to write a short conversation in regards to ordering food. If you are working from your cell phone, I would like for you to write it in your notebook and then after you're gonna transfer it to the platform. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Uh, at this moment, do you have any questions? At this no moment, question. do you have any questions? No. No. Okay. Let's go ahead and work in pairs. You will have five minutes. Work in pairs. You will have five minutes. Ready? Let's go. Eh, veo que César Alexander, Cristian Oswaldo, eh, Lisbeth, Glendy Flores, Andrea Esmeralda, Claudia Jocelyn, Melissa Guadalupe, and Lisbeth Martinez. Eh, sus compañeros los están esperando. Eh, Melissa Guadalupe, su pareja es con Ricardo. Eh, Claudia Jocelyn, su compañero es César. ¿Me escuchan? Can you hear me? Melissa Guadalupe. Ah, oh, okay. Melissa Guadalupe, uh, teacher, will be listening as is in the hospital with my son since Monday. Okay. Sorry, Melissa. All right, Melissa, in este caso, eh, trabaje usted sola. No, 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 no te sale el 3.8. Bien, creo que sí, ya. Ay, no sé si... Esto creo. Es esto. Ok. Uy, no le puse pausa. Ok. 
Mm. Ante order. Vale, pongamos. Short answer of the statement means. Of a, um, Va, hay que hacer una conversación igualita, uh -huh. parecida. Sí, parecida. Va. Ay. Va. Mm. Ajá, how would, would you... Oh. Um. Can I take your order? Puedes poner, puedo tomar tu orden. Can I... Can I take your... Um, uh -huh. oh, like... No, no, pone K. Okay. Okay. Can, can I take... ¿Puedo yo tomar tu orden? Uh -huh. can, can I take your order? Yes. Yes, you can. Um, yes, I can. Yes. Uh, quiero ver la conversación que, que me quiero guiar un poquito. Uh, okay. Yes, I like this. Uh... Um, ah, esa contracción, la de Wood. Uh -huh. Ajá, dice. O oh, podrías poner um, cool también. Podrías poner cool. Sí, va. Sí, también cool. Cool es como podría, podría yo tener. Yes, uh -huh. you can. Yes. Como. No, pero ahí solo poner. No, no, no. Ajá, sí, yo no le pone you can. Sino que ponerle yes. I go like or I call like. Es okay. que normalmente, bueno, según yo tengo entendido, cuando te preguntan, te hacen una pregunta así de yes or no question, es como que Según obligación, 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 obligatoriamente tenemos que responder con esto. Ah, bueno. Pero si en todo caso dice uh -huh. que no, o sea, no hay problema. I will uh, have. Mm. I could have. Um, oh, well. There, um, The hamburger. Give me. Give me. Uh, La hamburguesa más grande, the big uh, hamburger. Pongámosle taco. taco. Bueno, sí. Dale, dale. Como. Uh, order. Una or, orden de taco sería como taco order. orden o orden taco. Bueno. Tacos orden, creo. Orden va primero el, el va el taco, taco orden. ¿Va que sí? Sí. Que sí. Solo Porque para el taco es en español, pero hay que darle vuelta. Va primero el, el su, sujeto, creo. Sí. Creo que sí. Una orden de taco. Sí. Sí, bueno, va siempre. Uh -huh. uh, en orden of taco dice aquí. Uh, ah, no, eh. One taco order. Ajá, uh -huh, one taco order. Ah, sí, hay que poner. Uh, um, Oh, uh, yes, all right. Yes, all right. Oh, of course. Oh, of course. Uh -huh. uh, Podríamos poner... Eh, como de eh, qué ingredientes, cómo se, cómo se le escribe. Oh. Poner, o ¿Lo quieres con, con bebida? ¿El taco o algo así? O oh, oh, bueno, creo que... Bueno, no sé si... Sí. Pongámosle o nachos y después se pregunta que, que, como que quiere, si quiere bebidas o algo así. Uh -huh, también. Ok. Bueno, poner. Or. Uh, 
a un hecho, creo que en inglés, ¿cómo sería un hecho? Ay, a ver. No, pero ahí la pondría you like, tú quieres, you like, I want. Uh, ¿Qué vas a poner ahí? Es como eh, que esta orden trae como... No, Como pero ahí dice. mejor le podrías poner you like, te gustaría uh, o agrandarla mejor o, o, o te gustaría... No sería mejor como que eh, de qué ingredientes los prefiere. Sí, eso también, pero que no sé cómo, cómo escribirlo, o sea, sería. Uh, You like. which. Uh, a ver. Uh, which. o oh, what kind. ¿O qué tipo de, de ingredientes cae? Está bien. What kind. kind ¿Qué of. tipo de.? como what kind of. Meal, do you prefer? Ajá. Meal. Ok. Meal. Or do you want? Or would you want? Creo que... Como, como estamos viendo esto. Mira. Okay. Mm. Can you meet? Would you want? Would you want? Uh, yeah. No sé, ¿verdad que birria no tiene, no tiene como una palabra No, en traducción inglés? no. No es birria, así Ajá, como. va que sí. Um, Sí, traducción. creo que así se escribe, ¿verdad? Sí, birria, con doble R. Birria. Sí. Uh, birria, uh, ¿qué? No sé si poner bebidas de alguna o, o esperar que el camarero... Pregunta, yo como. Yeah, sí, no, ponerle Hiroki, do you like, te gustaría o a bebida. O pongamos, como, como o sea, poner a uh, uh, Biria Tacos, creo que sea, vamos. Pongamos así. Uh, y poner como, what kind of. o no sé soda de de ar podría ser sí Mm -hmm. Or this is what kind of meal would you want? Uh -huh. sí ver no no sería mal Pero ahí de would you want mejor of meal podría poner quiero ver of meal. Pero eso ya sería eh, que el otro pregunte. Ajá, porque Okay, es verdad que sí. of course, dice, what kind of meal do you Después want? sería please. Do you Y like? nos pasamos al, al siguiente, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí. Uh. Uh, okay, with, with soda or, or iced tea. No sé si les parece. O le agregamos ot otra opción. No, así está bien. Ah, ok. A ver... Ahí te puedo poner en la misma. Ahí está. Ah, no. Así sería, así sería todo, le agregamos algo más. No sé qué piensan ustedes o qué dicen. Yo creo que así sería. Sí, verdad. 
Entonces, así va, lo dejamos. Ok. Ah, pues, bueno. Ya lo hicimos, creo que es. Sí, diría que está bien. Um, no sé si lo practicamos o, o si el teacher nos pregunta ahí de un solo nos vamos. Eh... O sea, practiquémoslo entonces. Una cosa más. Va, eh, sí, verdad. Uh, no sé si lo haces tú con Hiroki, después yo con uno dice dos, o yo primero con Hiroki, o con tú y contigo, no sé. Yo le digo a ustedes dos si quieren ahorita. Ok. Si quiere, pongamos, pongamos un nombre diferente ahí para. <ríe> no, no, no. Bueno. A ver. Está lo mismo, lo siento. Estoy, nos estamos atrasando por mis tonteras, perdón. <ríe> bueno, in, bueno, que okay. inicias tú, inicio yo, Julián. Eh, yo comienzo. Ok. Eh, hello, hello, can you hear me? Hello, hello, can you hear me? Yes. yes. Right. Let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. Two volunteers to read the conversation that you wrote. Two volunteers to read the conversation that you wrote. Me, teacher. All right, Jonathan. Who was your partner, Jonathan? Eh, no lo veo. <laughs> Say hello. Oh, uh, Nerling is one. Okay. Um, ¿Quién era el otro? Marroquín, creo que era. Marroquín, sí. Creo, creo. No, no Marroquín. Marroquín. Okay. Um, okay, teacher. Um, All right, go ahead. Uh -huh. eh, no sé si la leo solo yo o entre como equipo. Yes, go ahead. Uh -huh. Solo yo. Eh, nosotros lo hicimos así. May uh, I take your order? Yes, I'd like to order wings. All right. Um, would you like to uh, order French fries? Yes. I uh, like no, 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 no. I don't want it like that. I want you to practice it in the group, like role play. Okay. Ah, okay. Entonces, que digamos él es. Sí, el primero, el make, I take, y tú el siguiente. Ah, okay. Así, yeah. así lo damos. Okay. Uh, may I take your order? Yes, I'd like to order wings. All right. Um, would you like to uh, order French fries? Yes, I like to order celery and carrots and one natural ju juice. Okay, what kind of dressing would you like? We have uh, buffalo, ranch, barbecue, and garlic. Uh, buffalo, please. Okay, your order will be ready at 10 minutes. Okay, very thanks. Okay. It's all right. Very thank, very thanks. Um, is that can, do we say that very thanks? I think in Spanish we say muchas gracias. Mm -hmm. How do you say that in English? Thank you so very much. Good. All right, um, you say very much. Okay. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you very much. 
-huh. eh, el, el, el very thanks no aplica mucho o en qué situaciones aplicaría. O no, eh, no existe casi en inglés. No, el, no, you can't say very thanks. No. Ah, ok, entendido. No. Yo ignoraba eso. Yeah, no, you can say thank you so much or uh -huh, just thank you so much. That, that's about okay. it. Okay. All right. Good job, guys. Excellent. Uh, no observations on this one, except for that, right? We don't say very thanks. We say thank you so much. Uh, another group that would like to present the conversation. Another group. Cesar Alexander. Con Carlos William, teacher. Con Carlos William. Action. Okay. Uh, uh, yes. My attorney order. Yes, I'd like a Hawaiian pizza. All right. <laughs> and would you like a extra cheese? Yes, I. I like have extra cheese and pineapple. I like have or I would like to have. All right. Uh -huh. In this case, Cesar, sería, I would like. I oh. would. I would like extra cheese and pineapple. Pineapple or pineapple? Pineapple. 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 Uh -huh. Pineapple. Pineapple, please. No, no. Pineapple, no. Pineapple. Piña, we pineapple. say pineapple. Pineapple. Pineapple, please. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. What kind of dressing? Of dressing, what do you like? Would would you like? Tell me. Would you like? Would you like? I did like a large Coca Cola, please. I did like, or I would like. I did like. No. Coca -Cola. I did like. No. I would like a Coca Cola. I would, I would like a Coca Cola, please. Glass like Coca Cola, okay. Like. A okay. glass. Of Coca Cola. Thank you. Finish. Oh, that's it. That was yes, it. Sir. Okay, good, good. No observations right there. Uh, just the pronunciation, right? Pineapple would like. Pineapple. Pineapple and would you like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you, Alexander. Good job. Anybody else that would like to participate with the conversation? Anybody else that would like to participate? Mm -hmm. Hiroki, who is your partner, Hiroki? Um, con Jose Miguel Portillo. All right, Jose yeah. Miguel Portillo and Hiroki, action. Give me a minute, please. Um, okay, Mr. you or I? Okay, hi. Can I take your order? Yes, you can. I could give me uh one taco order. Of course. What kind of meal will do you like? Do you Maybe like tacos. or would you like? Would would, would you, you like? like. Uh -huh. No. Would do you like? No. Would you like? Would, what? You like, yeah. Would what, you like? Uh huh. What kind of meat would you like? What kind mm -hmm. of meat would you like? Birria tacos, please. Uh, would you like soda or iced tea? I'd uh, like an iced tea, please. And that's it, teacher. That's it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Carlos William, it's a, it's a asistencia. Okay, guys, vamos a tomar pausa. So <laughs> and we are going to take the attendance. Thank you, Carlos William. Ya se me había olvidado.
Okay. Okay. Let's go. All right, guys. Eh, si ven que su compañero no responde, pero escribe en el chat, please eh, me avisa porque yo estoy viendo el spreadsheet de asistencia. Adriana Grethel. Adriana Grethel. Adriana Grethel? No? Absent? Okay. Adriana absent. Andrea Esmeralda. Here. Thank you. Carlos William. A person teacher. Good. Cesar Alexander. Present teacher. Good job. Christian Oswaldo. Present teacher. Very good. Uh, Claudia Jocelyn. Present. All right. Thank you, Claudia. David Alonso. Present. Good. Freddy Jose. Freddy. Jose, absent, okay. Glendy Elisette. Present. All right. Iris Janet. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Irving Iroki. Present teacher. Okay, Jonathan Vladimir. Present. Good job. Josue Miguel. Present. Perfect. Carla Tatiana. Carla Tatiana. Absent. Catherine Jasmine. Present teacher. Good. Lisbeth Martinez. Present. All right. Luisa Ariana. Present. Okay. Luz Virginia. Luz Virginia. Present teacher. Okay. Mayra Patricia. Thank you, teacher. All right. Melissa Guadalupe. Eh, yo creo que ella escribió en el chat. Deja a Melissa Guadalupe, there she is. Nerlin Haciel. Present teacher. Ricardo Fabricio. I hear, sir. Right. Yancy Yamilet. Yancy Yamilet. Absent. Okay. Good job, guys. Now, what I would like for us to do is we're going to go ahead and move forward. And we're going to be looking at the following activity, which is coming from section 3.9. In this section, the use of modal verbs would and will for requests will be taught. In esta clase, el uso de los verbos modals, modales, would y will, para ofrecer y pedir será explicado. Eh, I will have, I will have, right here, just like when we say, voy a querer, voy a querer, querer. And then when you say, 
I would have this right here. We say Isiera. Yeah. Right. So basically, both ways it will express uh, when you want to have something. Right. I will have is voy a querer, and I would have is quisiera. Listen to the conversation. Listen to the video. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. All right. Let's listen to the video. Yes. Nice to have you back in class. Please take notes on wood and will. Try to understand how they're being used. After the explanation, we have some questions for you. Please answer them on our discussion box. Modal verbs would and will for requests. What would you like? I'd like the lamb kebabs. I'll have a small salad. What kind of dressing would you like? I'd like blue cheese, please. I'll have vinaigrette. What would you like to drink? I'd like an iced tea. I'll have coffee. Would you like anything else? Yes, please. I'd like some water. No, thank you. That'll be all. Contractions. I'll equals I will. I'd equals I would. We presented would and will in a conversation and then on a previous chart. But now let's work on them. Using would to make requests. Would is used when we make requests in English. It is a more polite way to make your requests to someone, especially when you're not familiar with. We can use would directly at the beginning of the question. Would plus subject, plus like, plus infinitive verb, plus complement, plus question mark. Example, would you like to drink tea? Or, we can use it with a WH question word. WH question word, plus would, plus subject, plus like, plus infinitive verb, plus complement, plus question mark. Example, what would you like to eat for dessert? Also, in this opportunity, we're using word to answer questions. What would you like to drink? I would like a soft drink. Or, I'd like a soft drink. Did you notice the position of word in the answer? That's right, it goes exactly after the subject. How to answer using word? Subject plus word plus like plus complement. Now let's pretend we're in a restaurant and you are the waiter. This is my response. I want you to think on the question. I like apple pie. I like coffee. Now it's my turn to ask you. Please respond using wood. What would you like to eat? What would you like to have? Ice cream or chocolate cake? Nice to have you back in class. Please take notes on would and will. Try to understand how they are being used. After the explanation, we have some questions for you. Please answer them on our discussion box. Modal verbs would and will for requests. What would you like? I'd like the lamb kebabs. I'll have a small salad. What kind of dressing would you like? I'd like blue cheese, please. I'll have vinaigrette. What would you like to drink? I'd like an iced tea. I'll have coffee. Would you like anything else? Yes, please. I'd like some water. No, thank you. That'll be all. Contractions. I'll equals I will. I'd equals I would. We presented word and will in a conversation and then on a previous chart. But now let's work on them. Using would to make requests. Would is used when we make requests in English. It is a more polite way to make your requests to someone, especially when you're not familiar with. We can use would directly at the beginning of the question. Would plus subject plus like plus infinitive verb 
plus complement plus question mark. Example, would you like to drink tea? Or we can use it with a WH question word. WH question word plus would plus subject plus like plus infinitive verb plus complement plus question mark. Example, what would you like to eat for dessert? Also, in this opportunity, we're using would to answer questions. What would you like to drink? I would like a soft drink. Or, I'd like a soft drink. Right, guys, in this section, uh, I want you to notice that they said I would like a soft drink. What is the meaning of soft drink? Refresco, eh, creo. Eh, yeah. Refresco de soda, carbonatado. Yeah, cualquier soft drink. It could be Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Fanta, 7-Up, Pepsi. Right, soft drink is basically soda. Drink. Did you notice the position of wood in the answer? That's right, it goes exactly after the subject. How to answer using wood? Subject plus wood plus like plus complement. Now let's pretend we're in a restaurant and you are the waiter. This is my response. I want you to think on the question. I like apple pie. I like coffee. Now it's my turn to ask you. Please respond using wood. What would you like to eat? What would you like to have? Ice cream or chocolate cake? Okay. Now for this activity, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the discussion forum. And I want you to give me five examples with the questions. You're going to write the question and the response. For example, um, what, what would you like to do? What would you like to do Friday night? What would you like to do Friday night? In English, Friday is mayuscula. Uh, where would you like to go next Saturday? Where would you like to go next Saturday? Uh, who would you like to visit on the weekend? Who would you like to visit on the weekend? Any questions? Any questions? ¿Cómo, cómo se interpretaría la, la última de who would you like? Es como... ¿Con quién te gustaría salir o algo así? No, 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 no. ¿A quién te gustaría visitar el fin de semana? Who would you like to visit on the ah, weekend? ¿A quién te gustaría visitar? Ok. Mm -hmm. Entiendo, gracias. Yes. ¿Another question? No, Juan. No, teacher. Ok. Who can give me another example? Who can give me another example? Book to lie, eat, pupusa in the morning. Very good. Would you like to eat? Would you like to eat? Pupusa in the morning. Pupusas with me at Margot next Friday morning. 
Alright, ¿te gustaría comer pupusas conmigo en Margot el próximo viernes? Repeat. Would you like to eat pupusas? Would you, Would you like, like to eat pupusas? pupusas? With me. Would you like to eat pupusas? With, With me. me. With me. At Margot. At Margot. At Margot. Next Margot. Friday morning. Next, next, Friday, next Friday, Friday, Friday morning. Friday morning. morning. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and uh, stop right here. It's already 10 o'clock and we got to go. At this moment, does anybody have any questions in regards to this activity? Questions in regards to this activity? Somebody. Hey, teacher. <laughs> okay. It's clear. <laughs> All right, all right. Yo sé que es mucha información, guys. Eh, yo sé que having to sentir like, wow, this is a lot of, a lot of English. But I mean, you just gotta try to memorize or lo que usted puede memorizar. Try to memorize, eh, try to practice, try to study. Eh, recuerde que esto es pura práctica, right? Es por ejemplo, uh, ¿quién de aquí es fan de levantar pesas? Me. Jonathan. Ok, Jonathan. Hey, Ricardo. All right. <laughs> eh, ¿Cuánto levanta en banca, Jonathan? En pecho, acostado así. Um, 70 ki kilo, no, kilogramos. No sé. 70 kilos. Ok, 70, 70 kilos is heavy. Eh, pero no, mi imagino. Me imagino que no empezó levantando 70 kilos no. del día a la mañana. Right? After two years. After two years, right? So, ese es un desarrollo, una práctica diaria que tú haces. So, el, el inglés es igual, right? Es una práctica diaria que tú vas desarrollando. Pero tiene que desarrollar, right? Yo cuando voy al gym y veo a los muchachos sentados así en la máquina, yo le, me quedo like, hey, bro, WhatsApp no te va a ayudar a levantar pesas. Right? So usted tiene que pensar igual con su English. Si usted va a ver una movie o una serie, watch it in English. Listen to the audio in English. Practice the audio in English. Si usted tú, escucha una canción, les recomiendo eh, canciones así como lo de los ochentas. Take me to the magic of the moment on a glory night. O oh, Bob Marley, don't worry, be happy. Right, música así. O oh, Michael Jackson, Billy Jane is not my lover. She's just a girl that thinks that... Right, whatever. Música que a ti te gusta. Yeah, teacher. <laughs> American Eagles. Yeah. American Eagles, that's right. Uh -huh. Música que a ti te gusta, pero en inglés. Y cántala. Cántala. No sé si usted ha visto eh, personas en, en Facebook que ni cantan la canción. Pero ellos están <laughs> cantando, right? Y se escucha como que si la están cantando. Si tú no sabes inglés, tú dijeras, Wow, sí se, la, sí se la sabe. ¿Por qué? Porque ya agarraron el ritmo de tanto escucharlo. O so, tú de esa misma forma puedes hacer lo mismo. ¿Ok? So it's practice, guys. All right. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Okay. Good, 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 Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.